Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nathan343 here, and we have another awesome product from our good friends over at Sheds Lighting, where you can make any stage the big stage. Of course, I really wish I had a Sheds t-shirt. I actually have a buddy that has a uh, little printing deal that can make t-shirts. Thought about taking uh, their logo and putting it on a shirt so that I can wear something of theirs. Uh, Eric, if you're watching this, you want to feel free to send me a t-shirt with your logo on it. I'm a size extra or a 2X. I like them a little bigger so that when they're washed, they shrink. They still fit you. So we have something here. It's called a patch bar. Now, why do they call it the patch bar? Are you going to have to patch it up because it's going to fall apart and break? No, because we're talking about Shed's lighting here. Anything that Shed's lighting has is prime. So, we're going to open this up. Eric has been kind enough to send us tons and tons and tons of lights over the years, and he is still doing so. Again, thank you, Shed's, for sponsoring today's video. Studios. Now, inside the box, you're going to find a very, very nice DMX cable in a plastic bag. Give me a milk, Steve, and a dirty glass. <laughs> you're going to find a very nice, and I think this is just a newer style DMX cable they're going to. Nobody's using the black and blue ones anymore, yellow and black. We have probably a four foot power con, which we're going to be using. A little different way to set these up with a uh, power con in and outs. You do have some thumb screws. You got your brackets, which those just screw on in different directions if you want to. You've got, now all this is all set down in here. You got your screws for that one and that one. Yep. You've also got a little Allen head tool with a screwdriver on the end of it to be able to put your feet on. We're gonna pop this thing out. Comes in really great packaging. Again, Sheds, if you ever order anything from them, their packaging is gonna be prime. Uh, this stuff actually makes great uh, flight case packaging, so keep some of that around. And then it also comes, we're just gonna flip this dude over with another piece of foam down inside. Just like so, and there's our, it was stuck underneath. There is our instructional booklet. Now you get an instructional booklet with every single light that you get. So if you put an order in for 10 of these, you're gonna get 10 instructional booklets. Um, but that's never, nor here, a bad thing. Now these are pretty warm. It is 110 to 115 degrees outside. This is actually pretty warm metal. As you can see, We've got spots here and here, so you can actually stack bars on top of each other, which we're going to demonstrate. Uh, on the back, you've got a touchscreen LCD. You got Shed's logo. You got your power con out and in, in here, out. Now, if you're going to put these in a straight row and hook them together, you're going to want to line them up so that you have a power out and a power in, so you can daisy chain these things. You do have your DMX out and your DMX in, so that's awesome. They're not both on each side, one on each side, so very awesome there. You've got your holes here. For your mounting feet, they go right here. You also have very, very nice LEDs in here. And these are an 18 by 18 hex color. So you get red, green, blue, amber, UV, and white along with color mixing. So not only just those colors, you can actually take those colors like red and blue, make like a purple. You can take green and yellow or green and orange or green and, I think it's green and orange, mix them together, you get yellow. You can take green and blue, you get like a teal or a aqua or magenta. These things are heavy duty. These are top of the line grade lights. They're built well, no they're not waterproof. So don't be using these outside. They do have some waterproof bars that hopefully one day we'll be able to try out because as you all know here, I love soaking stuff with my pressure washer or my, uh, not pressure washer, my uh, trash pump. And we just got a new hose for that, which, uh, really flows the water. You get fans, you get an in and an out. So one sucking air in, one pushing air out. You got your informational sticker right here. You've got your lock deal here and here so you can manipulate these to lock them. You've also got locking device on this end as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in a giant line with two of these together. 
or a couple others too because my friend DJ Mike James also received two of these. Now I actually have a cool couple events coming up next month and in October for DJ that we are going to be using these behind a wedding table. So not only can you use these on stage, you can use them for like wedding receptions. And we're gonna use this behind a head table. We're gonna light some walls up with this thing. And the cool part is as you DMX these, like the scenes chase from one light to another. So that's really cool. So let's hook these things up with the other three we have in the living room and show you how big of a setup you can make. All right, guys, check it out. We have sort of kind of moved studios. We are no longer in the little bedroom. We're actually in the dining room, basically, which we don't use here at home. So I thought we'll just stick this big wall back here, put our booth out here, give us a little bit more room and hopefully makes the audio sound a little different. So went ahead and Mike has received two of these lights. I've got two of them. So we went ahead and stuck four of them together just so you guys could see what this thing could do. Now I have this kind of offset. Now I'm gonna actually turn this towards the camera here, run this through a couple of shows just so you guys can see the difference in <clears throat> what this light can do. Now if you're using this on a wall and you're facing, I mean that is some serious light output. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it towards the camera here, full on fledge at the camera. Yeah, this is set to go through a bunch of different modes. These bars have been running for a little bit and they are getting pretty darn warm uh, they are cooling i got air coming out this way air getting sucked in over here they're just putting off a lot of heat another thing that this thing will do is it will somewhat steady itself like like this so that you can aim this up at the wall ceiling however you need to now you can add more of these again i think you can add 32 of these together so very bright very well um put together four of these are 47 pounds put together like this we did go ahead and put them on the scale they're about 47 to 48 pounds so about 50 pounds i mean and they are pretty well put together so as you can see if you want static colors you can set these for static colors very great. They are all DMX together, all right here, all master slaved. As you can see, we got blue. But if you're controlling these with DMX, you can do whatever you want with these things. You can make each individual light a different color. You can make each individual bar a different color. You can strobe them, chase them. <clears throat> I'll show you the strobe here. Um, this is what this is. Yeah, so there's your strobe. As you can see there, as I lower the values, now we are strobing. When hooking these bars together, they have a little tab here on one and there's a tab on here on the other. So what you wanna do is you wanna line them tabs up. They snap together. I have purchased uh, some longer Allen head ratchet deals. This makes uh, for a lot easier. You guys may have some longer ratcheting uh, Allen head uh, sockets deal or a longer Allen head. The ones they send are just kind of too short to really give you enough uh, leverage to be able to get that to turn in there super tight. So you push this down in there until you find the little bolt. Get it lined up. And then you just want to turn it. And then you We'll feel it grab. And then it just grabbed. Make sure it's good and tight. Which it is, and then when you want to release it, you just take your ratchet, spin it the other way. And they come apart. All right, what's up guys? DJ Mike James coming at you. These are the 18 by 18 watt, 40 inch patchwork interchangeable beam bars. Uh, fantastic, another product sent to us by Sheds where you can make any stage the big stage 
as always, with sheds, free shipping, 12% off for Labor Day. This is the Labor Day weekend, but they usually always have a sale going on. But we're going to go and get into the uh, form and features of the uh, HMA 18 patchwork interlocking beam bars. Again, sheds paired up with uh, me. They sent me two of these patchwork beam bars. Um, we liked them so much that uh, we I decided to partner up with the, the Nathan 343 aka DJ Fire. He got them to send him two as well so that we can interlock these things together, show you guys exactly what kind of uplighting you're going to be dealing with here. Now, we are using this as a wall wash today. Uh, however, you can, you know, mount these on a truss. You can mount them uh, behind a head table, things on those lines. With four of them interlocked together, you're getting over 13 foot and of course you can do these in sections as the manual says we can pair up up to 32 of these lights together which would give you just a massive I mean I couldn't even I'd, I'll do the math and I will you know we'll put that in and you know, show you what that actual measurement would be in feet if you paired 32 of these lights together but as you can imagine it's going to be pretty sick take it away Nathan so guys these lights are pretty cool <clears throat> they are a little heavy uh, compared to the PIX bars that I just did from both lighting, they are uh, a few more pounds, I believe. Four of these hooked together. What do we weigh them at? Uh, Less than 47, 48 pounds for four of these hooked together. 46, 47 pounds, something like that. We weighed them because that's so, a concern for us also when we're rolling in and we're setting up events and things on those lines. You know, what it's going to take uh, is physical effort to get stuff up, get it up and running and get things uh, operational, you know, so that we are mindful of that. You know, lightweight is king with us because we don't always have the help to do that. But these lights are super <coughs> sick. They are hex colored. They are red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV uh, with color uh, mapping, pixelating. So you can kind of make the red and the blue. You can get a pink, a purple. You can get magentas. You can color mix these things together and get practically any color you want. So they're almost like a million color light bar. Uh, they do have two fans on them. They have an out and an end, as you saw there in the unboxing. Uh, they. They are a little bit noisy, but once you get these things uh, at a venue and you've got, you know, some sort of music going or announcements going or someone talking or a band playing, you're not going to hear those. But that fan does suck air in one and blow it out the other. So it is constantly moving air across those fans to keep, to keep your LEDs cool because if they do get hot, they will burn out. Um, the legs on them are decent they are put together you do have to screw those together to get those to go on they do not come pre-installed they only fold out like in a 180 degree they don't do a complete like uh 360 or whatever um they only fold out a certain way again like i showed you uh in my video i use the extra long hex or uh, allen head to be able to get down in there because the ones they come with are just too short uh, nothing against that sheds uh, maybe just send some little bigger ones so you can get some you know extra leverage on there to be able to suck those down tight now another thing i have noticed is they don't get completely tight um, there is a little bit of play in them now that can be used at good because then if you need to make a little bit of a curvature you can st still kind of curve them you can use these for stages. You can also pair them instead of horizontal like we have them here. You can also stack them on top of each other, uh, which makes another kind of problem. And Mike, you can talk to them about then about how to get them locked together with the feet in the way. Yes. Yeah, so you got to be mindful the way that you put the feet on these fixtures. Um, I kind of did mine in the way that I didn't want the adjustment knobs on the DMX and PowerCon side, so I wanted to put them to the inside, and that's super smart, except when you try to lock these together, now you have that adjustment knob in the way of your, of your, you know, your locking port where you got to put the Allen key down in there and try to get those to lock together. Again, though, the, uh, the beauty of, of, of a fixture like this and being able to interlock them is that you can stack them vertically you can line them up horizontally like we have them right now as a wall wash you can literally build a wall of hex color lights behind you of course the other thing to remember with that is that when 
the feet are the only way you're going to be able to mount those to like an O clamp or a J clamp or something like that. You're going to have to mount through the feet because there isn't necessarily, you know, you know, some of the beam bars have like a little hump bracket and you use the amount of O clamp through that and you don't necessarily have to use the feet to do that. But on this type of fixture, you will need to use the feet. But uh, again, as a wall wash, if you're doing, if you're trying to light a stage, especially, you know, the performance side of that where you're up lighting your performers from the front, being able to interlock these together, have them spaced out in whatever fashion that you want them in. You lock them all together, whether you're doing them horizontally like we are, vertically, You'll see in some of the uh, display images where DJs and all those lines are building a wall of these things behind them as a crowd blinder, and that would be just a sick crowd These blinder. things are sickening bright. Yes, they're really bright. They are 18 by 18 watts. We'll get the lights off here in just a second. Shoot some B-roll. Again, if we get into some of the features on this, when you get into the program side of it, it does get a little bit complicated as far as like how they have the programming set up as opposed to like some of the uh, other fixtures where you can just set you know a, a color snap a jump a fade things on those lines it will be in a jump mode but then there's uh, three different uh you know programs in there uh, one of them you've got like 25 different shows and then you've got the hue and then you've got the speed of that show and or the strobe of that show and so that does give you a lot of adjustability it gives you a lot of being able to detail you know uh, an auto show to what you want it to be at as well as sound active and things along those lines as well but um, it's a you know I wouldn't say it's super complicated but it does take a little bit you know when you're learning these sites to get them up and running and figure out what it is that you want them to do for you of course with dmx or a dmx controller there there's a lot of different a lot the of limit. the sky is literally the limit with this because you can get up to i mean individual individual light control depending on led every single led depending on how detailed you want to get in that show but never was talking about it i want you guys to see this thing kind of in action we want to get the lights off get to, you can see the um, size of wall wash here again this is right around 13 foot with four of them interlocked together we'll get some b-roll get some close-up shot of that stay <laughs> So another thing, if you guys are gonna be buying multiples of these for your stage setup, and you are gonna be doing stages for outdoor events, say outdoor bands, festivals, all that stuff, and you wanna protect your stuff, they do make flight cases for these. We are gonna be getting one. Uh, I believe it takes around 40 days to get them because they do ship them by boat. They will not ship by air, even if you try to pay for it. Because apparently it's, it, it costs a lot or something, I guess, to ship it by air. 
uh, or the size of it. The airplanes will not take it, I guess, maybe is, is something like that. But uh, we're going to be getting one, and when that comes in, we will do a separate video on that just so you guys can see what these look like in a flight case. I believe it has all the stuff you need for all your tools and all your uh, cabling and all that stuff. Again, this thing here, you guys can set this thing up. I've got it in kind of a random mode right now. It does all different kinds of stuff. Uh, for some reason, it just went solid white. I have no idea why it done that. But um, you guys can set these things up to do solid colors, strobe. They do have a strobe feature in them, so they will strobe. Um, even if you guys want to fly this up on a truss, you know, and you want to shine down at your crowds or you want to shine it back down at your stage, at your band, you can do that if you want to eliminate your part. Uh, I mean, you could, you could technically do that and almost eliminate your par lights with one big bar. You know, you could have that all up. You could use your old clamps across there, which I had thought about doing, but that would be a lot of work to bring trusting in here and mount this thing up so you guys can see it. Uh, but again, awesome wall wash. I will be using this to light up the uh, walls behind... Uh, you know, head tables at weddings and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to be using it for. Maybe using it on my trussing uh, at different times, uh, different areas of the rooms if I want to light up. You know, I, I don't necessarily have to have all these hooked together. I can just use part of them in different parts of the room. So, Mike, you got anything to add? Super impressive light. Thanks to our friends at Sheds. Like I said, make any stage a big stage. Big stage. Theater, I'm telling you, man, these are performer lights. Uh, I don't know if you remember how the, you know, they have the, the, the theater lights for your performers out in front. This will light up an entire stage. Uh, super powerful, super bright. You can dim these lights too, which we had not mentioned yet. Um, again, interlocking. You can build a wall of lights. You can build, uh, I mean, the beauty of them is that they will interlock together. And it, and it, and it, as you DMX them together, it, it acts as one light. It's not just four fixtures that are kind of uh, intermittently running on their own. You're getting one giant 13 foot wall wash. I mean, it's super impressive. Again, the links will be in, our, in, in the descriptions. Like I said, if you're watching this on his channel, uh, check out my channel. If you're watching this on my channel, Check out his channel, um, help support the channel, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.